given the formula for a compound, what is the chemical name for the compound? Well, what we can see here is that our molecule contains carbon, and that means it's an organic molecule, so we should be thinking of the organic chemistry part of the region's chemistry. And for region's chemistry, reference table is your best friend. So the two parts of the reference table that are, comp that are connected to organic chemistry are table R, which lists organic functional groups, and we also have table P, which gives us organic prefixes. Now let's go ahead and look at this molecule and look at the chemical names provided. So we can see that the names provided are 1-butanamine, 1-butanol, butanamide, and butanoic acid. So the difference between all of the names is the ending amine, O, amide, and oic acid. The endings of our names represent the functional group of our molecule. The functional group is the group that is other than carbons and hydrogens, elements that are other than carbons and hydrogens. So here we have C with double bond O and N, and that's our functional group. And we can check table R, which lists organic functional groups to find it. So in this, in this part of the table where it says functional groups, they show all of the functional groups that the mo organic molecules can have. So we can have fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine, which is halogen. We can have OH, which is alcohol, O, which is ether in between two carbons, C double bond OH, and so on. Just to remind ourselves, our group is C double bond O with N. So let's go ahead and find it. Where do we see C double bond O with N? Right here at the end. So we see C double bond O with N, and this is called amide. If we are not sure how to name it, what we can do is we can look at the right part of the table and we can see an example. So here we have three carbons and we have this functional group, C double bond O with N, and this is called propanamide. So the ending has to be amide, amide, amide. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for it to end in amide. So which one is it? It has to be number three, butanamide. How do we know that it has to be but? That represents the number of carbons in the longest carbon chain. So here we have one two, three, four carbons. And if we look at table P, if we have four carbons, the prefix must be but. That's why this is called butanamide. We didn't really need to know that because all of the prefixes here are but, but this is just for your future reference. So the name for this molecule is butanamide. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in more of my general chemistry, regions chemistry and organic chemistry videos.